Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lala Tips. So in our previous video, we looked into this about us information and we saved and updated the data from here. Now we'll be looking into this contact us information. So today we'll be adding this address, phone, email, and this image and this map URL, and we'll be saving those. So for that, let us create a new component. So before that, let us add this border here. And for that, let us just copy this update hero data and just duplicate it. And here we'll say update contact data. And now in the here, we can say contact us, yeah, and update the contact us section data. And we also want the image here, yeah. So so we can see here instead of the hero image URL, we can simply say here. So in, in place of every hero, we can say contact. So here it is changed to contact image URL, contact image and contact description. But we don't want the contact acoustics description. We want the URL over here. Yes. So let's say here Google map URL. Okay, we also have to change this in the our form here, yeah. So here we are saying here hero underscore. Let us change that into contact underscore. And instead of this contact description, let's say Google map URL. And also in this route, let's say save contact. Yeah, and it is saying this update hero information. So let us update this as well, update contact information so we have changed these things and let us use that here in our create yeah so let me just copy this and let's say update contact data and let me import it as well here and let me use it here and let me save here and let's see that in the browser if i refresh so you can see here the data is here so currently it is saying the description and this is very very long yeah well let us keep this height small and let's call it as google map url here so inside here we'll say here google map url and instead of description we can say here google map url yeah so we have done this and we don't only want this, this this photo and this image URL, but also we want the informations like this address, phone and email. So let us add an input field for those as well. So we can take that from profile so page that ZStream provide to us. And if we see here, we have this update profile information form. Yeah, inside here we can find the input components. So if you see here, we, we have this input components here. We can simply use this here in our update contact data here. So instead of description, let's say Google map URL and let us add here address. Yeah, and let us make it capital. And now let us also add phone and email address. So I have added this phone and email address here. So let us go to the browser and let's see the changes. So you can see here I have added this address, phone and email. So it is <laughs> pmail. So let me change that here as an email. And also I want this to be full width here. Yeah? So for that, I can simply change this call span 4 into Call span six and let us see that again so you can see here all those are full width so we are not getting this image here and let us pass all this information from the resource as well so if we go here and setting resource let us get the image url first so let's say contact image underscore url so as you have seen in my previous video so if you go here in the settings so there is the image url method that we have defined here so we can use that here 
we can say here dollar this image url and we can say contact image here yeah so that we don't have to define new methods for every other so instead of this hero image url we can also say here if you go here in this hero image url we have simply said this yeah so let us just copy this here and let us paste it here and also this about image url so we can just remove this from here now and about image url also we can simply copy this and let me remove it from here and let me just pass it here so you can share you can use the same method for every other thing yeah so let me just add it like this and here we have the contact image url and also let us add the other fields which are address phone email and google map url so we'll define these methods in our settings model as well so let's say and now let us define this method in our settings so we are doing all these things and uh, defining in the models yeah the functions because we are getting all the information from a json field so let's say here address and let us return and we'll do the similar thing for other as well okay we have done this now let us save and let us go to the browser and refresh so it is saying that google map url is not defined so let us define that as well so let me duplicate this and paste it here and let me say here google map url so there is a basically the convention of settings the data in the database table the column name are in the camel case in laravel so we are using that here yeah in the methods and the psr force says that we have to define the methods as a camel case so we are doing this so now if i go here in the browser and refresh the page here now you can see here we can see this image from the uiavatars.com yeah? and other informations are empty since we have not saved that data so if you see here in this update contact data so we are saving this information in the settings.save contact so let us go to the web.php here and let us define that here so, so we can see a save contact and let us make this method camel case and if i go here in the settings controller we have here save about and let us create the save contact here yeah and let us create the save contact request as well so we can see here psp save contact request so it is created so let me just call it here contact request so let me go inside here and let me make it as true and here we want to validate So we have defined these rules now here we can simply say here so we don't want so to write this this all these things for all these address email phone google map url yeah so for that we have one handy method called data request only so we can define the columns name here and it will give us only the fields that we have defined here so address email phone address email phone url and we don't want this contact image here because we want to handle this image differently yeah so let us keep it here and let me remove this now and instead of about image we have contact image so let us replace all those with contact image and here we are saying here delete hero image here yeah so let's say delete image and let us pass the column name so it will be contact image yeah so inside the settings there is no delete image so let me go to settings here and if we go here in the delete hero image so we can simply modify this yeah so delete instead of delete hero image we can say string column here yeah and instead of this hero image we can just say column and everything remains the same okay now if i go here now i also have to refactor here in the save hero section i can say 
delete image here yeah and let me just copy this and paste it here and similarly for so here we can say delete image and simply pass the about image here so now we can use the same method to delete all the images so we have done that and we have saved it here as well also let us add the remaining fields in our this form here yeah so we don't have those entered so let's say here that's all those informations are here now so now if i go here in the browser and refresh the page and let me add the informations here okay so i have filled the data here and this is the google map url now let me open the console before saving here so if we get any error then we can solve it so now if i click on save here so you can share it is saved the data is saved and we are again redirect back to the settings space from here yeah so now if i refresh the page here so you can see here we are getting this google map url and the, and this image but we are not getting this address phone and email so let's fix that so for that we have to assign this value here here so let's say here address and let's say here email and let's say here phone so all these data are coming from this resource so if we see here in the settings request resource so all these data are coming from here so now if i again come to the browser and refresh the page here so you can see here all those data are here so now we are able to save the data related to the hero information this about us information and contact us information and in the next video we'll be saving the information regarding articles if you go here in the home page we can see a bunch of articles over here yeah so in the next video we'll be doing the crowd section for articles create update edit and delete so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye